Good morning, everybody. So today, I just wanted to go over how you can bind up the cylinder in a two-stroke engine if you need it. There's a variety of reasons you might need to do that. <clears throat> For example, on this Ryobi leaf blower, in order to get to the ignition module, which is down in here, you have to take off... I've already taken off half the siding, but you have to take off both sides of the housing. So the and you know you might have to do this on a weed whacker for um you know getting to the clutch or or anything like that so i've already taken like i said i've already taken off the half the housing over here so this is the the blower fan right over there so the first step that we're gonna do is we want to take out the spark plug right over here so give me just a second all right, so I've taken off the spark plug, so I'm just gonna stick it in here so that I I don't lose it in the grass or anything like that. All right, so then the next thing we need to do is we wanna get our, our socket over here and put it onto this locking nut over here. And then what'll happen normally is it'll just spin forever because it this is turning the crankshaft which in turn makes the the piston obviously go up and down through its its strokes and um there's nothing to to ever stop it and you can try to you, can, you can't really hold it um you won't be able to get enough um, force behind it or anything like that so what you need to do is somehow bind up the cylinder. <clears throat> so you can use string or something like that. It has to be pretty thick string. And the downside for that is if it starts to come out of the exhaust port and it gets binded up, you're in deep trouble. They're bound up. But so, and you know, you could have string that maybe it's flaky or, or you know, leave stuff in the cylinder, which you obviously don't want. So the best thing to do is you can get one of these cylinder binders. Um, it's just nylon, um, and you have two different sizes of it depending on what you want to, what you're sticking it in. So for this uh, leaf blower, it's going to be the the big size over here. So all you have to do is really easy to use. Is you just take it and you put it right into the cylinder over into the spark plug hole right here and you tighten it up fairly tight all right. I can't do this with just one hand so give me a second all right so once that's nice and tight then you can come back over here to your lock nut and you can you just want to make sure you're holding it and then you're just gonna you know, pull on it, give me the, I can't do this with one hand again, I don't think, all right, so, there you go, so, once you get that off, you can take that off, and you just spin it until it comes off, so, you have your locking mechanism, and then you can just get the, uh, the blower fan off, and then Again, I can't do it with one hand, but yeah, so that's all you gotta do. And hang on. Yeah, you just keep spinning this guy until he comes off. There you go. And then you're in there, and then you, know, you can just go about continuing to disassemble your engine if need be, depending on what machine you have. There's little Torx bits in there for this particular machine. But I'll have a link to the cylinder binder that I was using over there. Um, but it's really easy and then you don't have to worry about having the right size string or braking or, you know, going out the exhaust port and giving you much bigger problems. But hope you enjoyed this video and uh, make sure you give me a, a subscribe and a like. All right. Have a great day, everybody. See you next time.